What's going on guys, Kaiser here, and today we'll be taking a look at the blackout version of the HyperX Cloud Alpha S gaming headset. With that said, let's get to it. So this is basically a step up from the $99 stereo version, the HyperX Cloud Alpha. This version is over ear, features virtual 7.1 surround sound, and comes in at $129. Inside the box you get a quick start guide and some warning information, a cool carrying bag, a USB inline controller. Here you can show your chat and game volume as well as activate the virtual 7.1 surround sound. You also have a mute button here. Also inside the box, you have a detachable 3.5 noise cancellation mic with a removable pop filter and a rigid yet flexible boom arm. You also get a spare pair of fabric ear cups. Now personally, I prefer these over the leatherette ones because those have a tendency to get a bit warm over longer periods. Now these aren't memory foam, but they're still pretty comfortable and a nice option to have. Now these headphones have a nice solid build. They're made mostly out of aluminum, but aren't too heavy. They also offer a lot of flex, showing no signs of stress or creaking when stretched. The headband adjustments are stiff, yet still easy to adjust. Now one of the things that I don't like about this build are these loose wires. I'm assuming that they're there because the frame is aluminum and there's no plastic housing to route them in, which is understandable, but still, I don't like how they move around when you adjust the headband. Up top you have this really nice stitched leatherette design on the headband, and this really adds to this sleek matte black kind of stealthy look. This headset is definitely one of my favorites when it comes to the overall look and design. Now in terms of comfort, you don't get a lot of padding up top, but the ear cups are fairly plush and the overall feel is really comfortable. There's literally no clamping pressure and I haven't experienced any discomfort at the crown of my head. These have certainly moved onto my top 3 most comfortable headset list. Now I can just barely feel my ear touching the padding on the driver, but because there's a pad there, there's no discomfort. Now there's no software for this headset, but you do get 3 levels of bass adjustment on the ear cups. Now even at the highest, or in terms of bass, lowest frequency level, the bass isn't overwhelming, which is a good thing. Especially if you're playing games where you benefit from knowing what direction sound is coming from, such as FPS, because bass at lower frequencies make it harder to discern what direction the sound is coming from. Although I'm not certain why they have 2 separate controls here instead of 1. Alright, so aside from the comfort, one of the other most important factors of a good headset the mic and the speakers. Here's how the mic sounds. This is how the mic sounds on this headset. Now it's not the worst that I've ever heard, but it does sound a bit thin and nasally, and it could use a boost to the mids and lows. Now in terms of overall clarity, the mic sounds pretty good. There's no noticeable hiss or interference, so that's always good to hear. But it does sound thin and unnatural due to the lack of midtones. Not the best, but certainly not the worst either. Now to give you a rough yet non-scientific example of how the headphones sound, I captured some audio from this headset using my binaural recording setup. So to get any benefit from this test, you need to put your headphones on while listening. Cluster strike is go for launch. 
I think that the headphones sound really good. The audio is clear and punchy with no sounds of distortion and I was able to place which direction sounds were coming from fairly accurately. It also offers a decent sound stage considering that these are closed back. Now I didn't hear a dramatic improvement with the surround sound on other than a slight boost in levels due to the reflection, but it did feel a bit more immersive. Now, although the mic suffers from the same problem that most gaming headsets suffer from, this is definitely a solid headset for the price. Now, if the virtual surround sound didn't quite hit the mark for you, you could save yourself a few bucks by going with the $99 stereo version. But I'll leave links to both in the description just in case you guys want to check these out. So until next time, peace.